the odds of Sinaloa cartel boss El Chapo Guzman facing true justice in Mexico are slim. The Kingpin Saturday arrest in a Mazatlan hotel is a temporary disruption for his $3 billion cartel operation. El Chapo has been indicted in at least seven U.S. federal district courts, including El Paso. Some wonder whether their government will be the one to prosecute him or if he'll stand trial in the U.S. There's an aura of sympathy in Mexico toward drug lords because they often provide funding for churches and schools. Chapo Guzman to be taken down without one gunshot should tell you something right away. Do you think that's Chapo Guzman that they have in custody right now? I don't know. In this fake war against the drugs, the society is the victim. Mexican government, the federal government, is still protecting the interests of the Sinaloa cartel. So if you're saying Peña Nieto was protecting the Sinaloa cartel, how did Chapo get arrested? Well, that is a huge question. On February 22nd, 2014, Mexican Marines arrested Chapo Guzman, the world's biggest drug lord. But since his arrest, many have questioned whether he is really El Chapo. Charlie Min joins us to talk about his documentary, S. El Chapo, looking into the arrest of El Chapo. So can you tell us about this film, Charlie? Well, it's really that. Is it really Chapo Guzman? We have an unbelievable news story developing here that when have you ever seen a colossal fugitive captured like mm -hmm. El Chapo and people are questioning whether it's really that person. When have we ever seen that ever developed before in a news story? For people that, I mean, I'm sure a majority of the people are very familiar with this story, but for those that are not, how was he captured? Well, what happened was at 6.40 a.m., he was caught in a very modest Mazatlan mm -hmm. condo, uh, like an $89 a night condo. Uh, what's a billionaire doing there exactly. in the first place? Yep. Uh, he went down without a single shot being fired. And he was caught by the Mexican Marines in collaboration with U.S. DEA and intelligence. So that collaboration led to Chapo Guzman's arrest. And again, because a single shot wasn't fired right away, people started saying that cannot be Chapo Guzman because right. he normally has 200 armed guards surrounding him. Here's a man who's on, uh, he's been in Forbes magazine. He's mm -hmm. worth a billion dollars. How can he go down? A homeless person could have put up a better fight than he did. Right. Wow. So if they didn't arrest El Chapo, who did they arrest? Uh, some imposter, and that person should win an Academy Award. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, this double or fake or impersonator, whoever this man is, what a brilliant job they've done, mm -hmm. if that is indeed what happened. But right. uh, I don't know exactly if that's Chapo. Who knows what happened? The corruption level in Mexico runs so deep, mm -hmm. we just don't know exactly what's going on. Very difficult to pinpoint. Mm -hmm. So while you are making this documentary, what are some of the interesting things that you have discovered? Well, how revered he is. I mean, it's unbelievable. Here's a man who's responsible for reportedly 80,000 dead Mexicans. Mexicans, but yet he's loved in Mexico, especially in his home state of Sinaloa. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be like Tucson loving Jared Lee Lochner. Right. I mean, that makes absolutely no sense, but the difference here is that Chapo provides money for the poor. That's okay. at least what Mexican people tell me. He provides shelter, he builds uh, hospitals, churches, schools, roads. Uh, this man gives back to his community. So the Mexican people, as a result, revere him, even though he's responsible for about 80,000 dead Mexicans. Wow. So we know the Mexican government wants him, but is there any U.S. involvement in this at all? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is a shared problem. Okay. Mexicans die as we get high, and that's no lie. Uh, the United States has done an awful job with the war on drugs. It's caused many Mexicans to be murdered. Look at Operation Fast and Furious. We lost an Arizona agent as a result of that, Brian Terry. Uh, I mean, let's really get to the point. The USA should be thoroughly embarrassed by the war on drugs. I would love to ask President Obama, what's the latest on the war on drugs? Mm -hmm. you, you can't walk down a city street today without people smoking pot. It's a joke. I mean, Siri, we, gotta, we, gotta, we, can't, be politi we can't be politically correct here when people are dying. Mm -hmm. We really can't. Too many, the Mexican people have been cheated. 120,000 murders in that country because of the drug war. That exceeds Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. How come people are not talking about the Mexico tragedy? You mm -hmm. tell me. Right. So what do you think we need to do? Legalize marijuana, legalize drugs in the United States. Mm -hmm. And you think then all of this will go away? Uh, not all of it. I mean, but I think we should, I mean, that, that would be my solution right away. Legalize drugs in the United States. Everybody's on it anyway. So mm -hmm. I shouldn't say everybody. A lot of people are on it. 
but I want to see less Mexican people getting killed, innocent Mexican people being slaughtered. We've had too many of that. You're very passionate about this topic. Mm -hmm. I am. I mean, I mean, Pima County, I brought it here first because there's a large Mexican population here. And a lot of people, they don't exactly volunteer their information and their feelings, but there's a lot of people in Pima County that are very hurt and injured by this drug war. Mm -hmm. And they fled to Pima County. They fled to Phoenix. They fled to El Paso. They fled to Southern California um, because they have to escape the violence. Well, Charlie, we can all feel your passion. What, what would be the one point that you tried to get across with this? Well, you know, I think... Uh, when you talk about the drug war, mm -hmm. there's no drug war in Mexico. That's a lie. In Mexico, it's a war on people and it's a war on money. The drug war is in the United States. Okay. And every time we talk about the drug war, you always try to put a political spin on it. I'm trying to put a humanitarian spin on it and say these are human beings who lost their lives. Let's forget about Obama and Holder. Let's forget about Felipe Calderon and Enrique Peña Nieto. Let's talk about the people that have lost their lives who never asked for this violence. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested in seeing your movie, tell us a little bit about where they can see it. Yes, it opens in 24 U.S. cities, uh, and it starts this Friday in Tucson Okay. at the Harkin Spectrum 18 on I-19 in Irvington. I'm also going to bring it to Nogales at the Oasis Theater on August 29th. It's going to run for at least a week in both cities. If people are up north, they can see it in Tempe at the Harkins at Valley Yard in Tempe starting uh, this Friday. Mm -hmm. But Tucson, first stop, let's go, Tucson, Arizona. Pima County starting this Friday. Uh, let's get it on. And why Tucson? Because of the large Mexican population okay. here. Mm -hmm. But with that said, I think any citizen would be interested in this topic. Right. Absolutely. Well, it affects everyone. Yes. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. So what's uh, next for you? I mean, this is, this is a hot and heavy topic. I'd love to do the Tucson shootings with Gabby uh, Giffords and... Um, would love to, what I try to do is give the, the victims a voice. We've mm -hmm. had plenty of victims in the Tucson shooting. I, I can't believe there hasn't been a documentary made on that. I right. Mean, that thing is just sitting out there. Someone has to jump on that. If it's me, great. Uh, if Gabby Giffords is somehow watching this, I hope she'll get back to me. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of passion for victims, and I know she's trying to get the word out on gun control. And my last film played on, a, in, on the channel Investigation Discovery. Wow. called Terror on a Train. 20 years ago, a man shot 25 people on the Long Island Railroad in New York. That was like the first high-profile mass shooting in the United States uh, that got the attention that it got. It was 1993, right around the time of the OJ trial. So a documentary should be made on it. Gabby, I feel your pain, and all the other victims that they didn't deserve that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what Jared Lee Lochner did uh, that morning, uh, beyond comprehension. Right. Well, thank you so much for introducing us to S.L. Chapo today. And uh, congratulations. You're welcome. Thank you. The S.L. Chapo movie opens this Friday at the Harkins Spectrum 18 Movie Theater at I-19 and Irvington with six showings throughout the day. To watch the trailer, visit slchapo.com. That's slchapo.com. Coming up, there are many things to pay attention to when owning a dog, and that includes grooming, brushing, baths, and your dog's skin. We have some pointers to help you when the morning blend comes back in a moment. <laughs>